Welcome to Bikepark Zerfhaus Fislalis. This is our new format, Bikepark Check. In this format, we showcase you different bike parks with all of its differences. Which trails does the park have to offer? How's the service? What does it offer? And last but not least, a touch of trail touch. How did the tracks suit our likings and what is the conclusion of the individual bike park? Let's go! Overall, the bike parks offers 9 different tracks. Many of these trails come together again at certain parts of the mountain, or even start from the middle of the descent. You can take the Waldbahn to get to the start of the descent. Once at the top, you can choose between the following trails, Milky Way, Strada del Sole or Hillbill. Each of these trails are the starting point for the next decision. You meet this decision a few meters further down at the steel bridge, where some like-minded people usually come together. From there, the game really starts. What's your wish for this ride? No matter which path you choose, even from this point on, it's not a final decision. Because during the descent, the trails cross again, and there are even new ones on the way. For example, the downhill track, Morning Glory, or even the freeride trail. If you couldn't remember any of the names, no problem. Every route is clearly labeled and bike park beginners are also well catered for, because all routes are also marked with colors. These help to categorize the routes even better and to group them together. The blue colored routes are the easiest one in the park. There are hardly any obstacles on the route, most sections are clearly visible and the slope is ideal for warming up and getting your brakes going. The color red is one level higher. Here you should look around carefully and especially inspect jumps from takeoff to landing. In our opinion, the red routes in the Surfhouse bike park offers a great mix for beginners and advanced riders. The final boss in the park is the color black. This is where the hillbill and downhill routes are at home. Both trails contain steep sections, risky routes and some larger jumps. A beginner should avoid these routes. If you already feel more than comfortable on the red trails, you can take a look at the black trails. But keep in mind that this route is designated for experts and that you should therefore pay attention to the drivers behind you. If necessary, push your bike down beside the track and change the route. When you arrive at the bottom, more features of the bike park await you including training area, slope style, landing bag, pump track, kids park and a bike wash station. So, this is what awaits you in Surfhouse. But what about the trails? Are they good? We've tested all trails for you and would like to give you a brief overview of our trail highlights. Let's start with the hillbill route. If you've been paying attention, you will know that this route starts right at the top. Here you have to concentrate directly from the start, because it goes from 0 to 100 over the iconic house drop. Further down, you will find technical route parts and also a few hidden north jumps and bridges. All in all, you can say, this route is only really fun when you have made many descents on it, because the track has more line options than any other route. The steep sections and record-breaking route carpets don't make things easier. When it rains, this trail is often close, which makes it an expert trail. The trail has many similarities to its neighbor Supernatural. And here we are on the next trail. Supernatural lives up to its name. This trail shines with naturalness. Not only does the route create real fairy tale like surroundings in certain parts, the trail is also provided with many natural gaps and jumps. Similar to the Hillbill Trail, we would like to put this colleague in the love hate category. Because at first, the trail was kind of disappointing. But after a few descents with the right choice of line, the true supernatural character reveals itself. Very, very highly addictive and probably our favorite in the park. The downhill track is just as demanding but much more dangerous and faster. This trail also demands some descents to be loved. The trail offers almost everything a downhill track needs to include. Steep sections, some air times, steep, large and tight curves, the perfect portion of roots and stones and real high speed sections. On this trail you have to hold onto the handlebars and concentrate 100%. We would like to round off our trail highlights with the Strada del Sole and freeride routes. These tracks have something for just about every rider. Big long turns, north shore elements, smaller and bigger jumps, wall rides, yeah, pretty much everything. All elements can also be bypassed, so that even beginners can get a glimpse of what is going on here. But you can also tell that these tracks are highly frequented, because these tracks also offer the most bumping waves. We actually give the trails 5 out of 5 points, because the park has almost everything you need. The only thing we'd miss would be a longer jump line. But that makes up for the trail maintenance and the larger selections of lines on the individual routes. Of course, the lift should not be left out either. The Waldbahn takes you up to the mountain quickly. The queue was manageable on our previous visits. 
Of course, longer waiting times are to be expected here on weekends and public holidays. Up to three bikes fit in one gondola. The lift starts at a height of 1420 meters and brings you up to 1840 meters. In addition, the park offers a kind of automatic treadmill with which you can ride the slope style and the training area. The Schönhofbahn, for example, which takes you to the Formis Trail, should not go unmentioned. Unfortunately, this is not included in the ticket price. What a shame. We give the lift service 4 out of 5 points. There would be 5 points if you can ride all trails with your ticket. Because even with the gravity card, you can only have fun in the bike park at no extra charge. If you are still wondering what the ambience and service in the park are like, the service offered by the bike park includes bike wash, chill area, collation, free drinking water at the lift station, free parking spaces, as well as the bike shop with bike and gear rental. The staff, as well as the trail shapers we met, were all nice and easygoing. The shop offers everything you need for a bike park day. Products such as tires come at a proud price. We have seen cheaper bike park shops. However, the park shop sometimes got some discounts to offer. The shop works with certain partners, which means that the selection is sometimes limited to just one brand. As mentioned at the beginning, the rental of protectors and bikes is also offered here. Important side note, camping is forbidden in the whole bike park area. We give the service 4 out of 5 points. There are no 5 here, because in our opinion the shop is pretty expensive and there is only one collation at the bike park. For 39.50 euros you can get a day ticket for adults in 2020. Young people pay 31 euros. 20.50 children. Two days get a little bit cheaper. The park also offers multi-day and season tickets. More information is available on the website. Since we did not rent any bikes or equipment, unfortunately we cannot give any feedback on price performance in this area. All the more in terms of the price performance of the trail offer. Even if we think it's a shame that the single trail such as the Formis Trail are not included in the bike park ticket, we would like to give the park 4 out of 5 points in this category. Zephaus is in the middle of the price range, so the part with the surrounding trail surcharges is forgivable. The trails in the bike park are definitely worth the price. Almost every trail is addictive, is mostly in good condition and every descent always reveals a new key point. You can easily spend several days if not weeks in this bike park. This bike park area is clearly one of our favorites. Every time we leave Safe House, we have the feeling that we drove home too early. The trails offers new challenges on every descent. Every descent you feel a bit faster. It's not just the wide range of routes that kills boredom. The ingenious selection of lines on routes like the hillbill also keep the adrenaline level permanently high. Meanwhile, Safe House gets to ride every year by us. If you haven't been here yet, you should stop by. Beginners and advanced riders are well served. In addition to the bike park, Zerfhaus is also gradually expanding its network of single trails. Furthermore, the park already offers a great offer on the ground level, with for example the back jump or kids park. Events like the Zerfhaus Fislades mountain bike festival are also told to be awesome. We really hope you enjoyed our first review or our first bike park check. We would love your feedback down in the comments. Which area of the park were you missing details about? Which one would you have wished for less details? Have you already been to the Safehouse Bike Park or are you planning to do so now? Thanks for tuning in and see you next time. Stay in touch!